and welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today. We're at chapter 16, verses 25 to 30. Let's get right on into the reading. Moses said, Eat it today, for today is a Sabbath to the Lord. Today you will not find it in the field. Six days you shall gather it, but on the seventh day, the Sabbath, there will be none. It came about on the seventh day that some of the people went out to gather, but they found none. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my instructions? See, the Lord has given you the Sabbath, therefore he gives you bread for two days on the sixth day. Remain every man in his place, let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. So I want you to notice here there's some Sabbath training going on. God is training, he's retraining his people. They were in Egyptian bondage. They were in, Egypt kind of symbolizes the world, right? So they were in the world, they were under oppression. God brings them out to liberty under him. And now he's reestablishing them in, the, in a faith trust relationship with himself. And he doesn't want them to trust in their own doings, their own works. He wants them to trust in him. So he's providing them the food. And then on the seventh day, everything comes to a stop. It's time to rest and it is Holy Sabbath. Some call it Shabbat. This is a blessed time when we refocus our attention purely on God's things. And we also have opportunity to worship side by side with fellow believers in Jesus. And so Sabbath is a beautiful time. It's a very beautiful time when God's people get together corporately and worship him as a religious body in a congregational setting. If you're not attending a worship service, you're missing something. You want to be among God's people as they worship him and on his blessed day. What better thing is there than that? Now, here's another thing we noticed here that some people went out on the Sabbath to gather some more food. But like God already told them, no, you won't find any. <laughs> and a lot of times, but there's a spiritual lesson for us here from this literal piece these people literally did the wrong thing. They disobeyed God. They went to work on the Sabbath. They weren't resting in, in God's ways. They were working and failing to trust in him. Hey, these people were looking for God's provision when he didn't provide it. He already provided it. He provided it on the sixth day. He provided double on the sixth day of the week. So they don't have to go out and go scouring around looking for it on the seventh day. Many times we are looking for inside or help or bread from God when God has already provided it and we just walk past it. And now we're over here being disobedient over here, we're over here being disobedient over here. And we're looking for God's provision when he already provided, but it's over here. Okay, but we, because we are disobeying him, there's nothing for us there. He already told us that, okay? So here's a lesson only. Let's not make the mistake that they made there. You're looking for something that God said, you won't find that on that day. I gave you double on the day before. Okay, I've already dealt with that. Finally, I want you to notice here also that, um, what does it say in verse 30? So the people rested on the seventh day. Okay, so they, they made some mistakes, some of them, but they're learning. They're learning. God is training them. They're in a Sabbath training program, how to keep the Sabbath, and they're learning how to do it. God is retraining them. Again, instead of, instead of slave think, he's giving them liberty think. He is giving them freedom in himself, freedom in God, freedom in Jesus, and they're learning to do things God's way. So there's blessing for us as we shift from slave think to liberty. And uh, But the seventh day, that's God's day, we come apart from all the ways of the world. We come apart from all the things that would, you know, we minimize connections there with the world. And on that day, we especially connect with God with our hearts. Boy, I sure hope you're receiving the Sabbath blessing. Friends, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, as a Christian person, I've been observing the Seventh-day Sabbath from around, for around 35 years, 36 years. And the Sabbath has always been a blessing. It's always drawn me closer to the Lord Jesus. And I believe that if you will give it a chance, if you look at God's ways and recognize that he, his instruction is better than your instruction, <laughs> you'll be blessed. And I would just commend to you, if you haven't ever thought about the seventh day of the week, the blessing of Jesus' seventh day, I won't keep on and on about it here, but as we're talking about manna, I just have to say to you, there's a blessing here in many people. I've missed the blessing. Don't miss the blessing. All right, see you tomorrow morning.